Well, hello everyone. And should I say, welcome to Copenhagen Central Station, also known in Danish as Copenhagen Hovedbanesgård. We saw two trains spotting out there. First of all was the 1314 um, DSB, the um, Danish national operator, um, operating service to Flensburg in Germany. We've got a BX service arriving in now. This is one of the suburban S Talk services that run around the city. There's a C at the rear. I'm not too sure what's going on with that, whether its destination displays are broken or this, something. Also spotting out there in the intro was the also 1314 um, Tug service bound for Kalmar in Sweden from Österport here in Copenhagen. So we'll be seeing services by a variety of operators today. We've got this DSB service trolled by Vectron Locomotive, which is on a service bound for Helsingør. It's got another Vectron on the opposite platform, which we'll go and film at in just a moment. As we've got another one of these diesel sets arriving in now. I'm not entirely sure where this one is from. Let's head to the opposite platform, because this platform probably isn't the best for filming here. As another S-Talk service departs. Copenhagen's a very exciting city, there's plenty to see here. Right, can hear a Vectron departing. As this is our DSB double deck service, we didn't think these were a thing in Denmark, but this is on a service bound for Nestved via Koha. Yeah, very, very, very busy. In city trains every few minutes. It's a Sunday today as well. Imagine what it would be like on a weekday. So we've got another service to putting out now. Again, not too sure it's going, but it looks like some sort of intercity service as an S Tog arrives behind. I'm trying to strike the correct balance of not getting too wet in the torrential rain combined with getting the good views. I think here is about right. Oh, we've got a lovely. Um, Intercity, this looks like a quite a sleek, fast train, doesn't it? On a service bound for Holbeck. I apologise for my Scandinavian pronunciation, particularly Danish ones, Swedish ones I'll be fine with. This is a very cool train, isn't it? On the 1324 to Holbeck. As off goes the 1324 service bond for Holbeck. It's got the signal, I'm not 100% sure what it's waiting for, maybe. Oh, here we go. Well, those trains look a bit like they were diesel, they look, they remind me of some Alstom Caradias. I've also got a 1338 service, which must be terminating. This is from somewhere out in the western side of Denmark. This is later going out to form the, yeah, the 1338 service to S S Sunderboy, Sunderboy and SBA. on the bottom of there. Well, Aalborg, Sonderborg and Eschbe. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if this train divides into three, although those are just the destinations, a selection of which are shown. You may have wondered why Danish trains look so weird, like this one and this one. And there is a very good reason behind this, so they can easily couple units together, because these gangways you can see here, when trains are connected together, the cab can swing open 
to form one really, really long unit. So all these long trains you see are actually combined of one, two, three, or even more of these small free carriage units. That's what these are. As so we have an A service heading northbound. Let's come on to the opposite platform again now um, to see this Odesons Tog service. This is the 1330 service to Gothenburg Central or Jutebus and Trollstaden if in Swedish. Um, the cool thing about these trains is that they are international suburban trains. International commuter trains, can you believe that? Because the cities of Copenhagen in Denmark and Malmo in Sweden are very very close together. Um, and this means but they are able to, and there are lots of people that commute every morning, every evening between both cities. It takes around 25 minutes to get between them. And these also serve as an extension um, to provide more intercity services. For example, this one's going all the way up to Gothenburg up the Swedish coast for a total of about three hours journey time. Quite quality is quite pleasant actually. And we've got another service arrived in on the opposite platform, which is going to be the 1347 service bound for Karlsborg. Okay, I'm spotting out now as a bunch of s talk services arrive in and out of the station. It's going to be the 1330 Orison's Talk service bound for Gothenburg Central via Malmö. I don't know whether I stick with the anglicised pronunciations or whether I go with the proper ones. Start. Followed by Tornby, Kirpnams Lufthaven, Malmö Hillier, Malmö Triangle, Malmö Centralstahun, and then a bunch of stops from there which I don't know up to Jutteboy Centralstahun. Thirteen thirty eight service should be departing out soon. You know what the station reminds me of for some reason? Or Waverley. Because it's got this road that runs over the tracks. Lots and lots of lines. There's Grand Canopy here. Let's go and film a couple of trains coming out of the side again. It's a difficult station to film at because there are so many long trains that just sit in all the platforms. As you might just be able to see by the diagram, this service does indeed split into four four services indeed. I thought it was three, but it's actually four. So we can see which destinations the train, each section of the train is going to in just a moment. So uh, somewhere along the route, these two carriages will separate along with a bunch of others along the route as well. Okay, as of getting ready to spot now is this ridiculous train, the 1339 yeah. service to absolutely everyone. Please notice the change of track at this station. The train is departing from another track. The 147 train to Kellenbo will depart from platform 6 in approximately 7 minutes. The English announcements here are much better than the other European stations, aren't they? As another Odesons Tog service arrives in on a service bound for Christianstad, also in Sweden. I didn't realise how many of these services in Denmark are actually still diesel run. Because this is a diesel service as well, standing on track number four. Okay, our spotting out is going to be. I suppose this one did the bottle, the, the service now delayed by nine minutes, which is the service bound for Copenhagen Airport, Copenhagen to Lufthaven. I have a feeling that this service hasn't originated here. Uh, and has come from somewhere else in Denmark. I'm just going to check that. It's quite difficult to see 
where all these trains have come from because there's no equivalent of like real time trains here in Denmark. And it's come to a stop already. Those do sound like Hitachi VFs. Oh, look what's turned up behind us. Another cool train. Oh, it's off again. Oh, it's got another surf spotting behind it as well. Which really is bound for Nikobing. Got another double deck train arriving in now. He's got the destinations on the side, which is quite convenient because it allows us to see where this is going. This one is bound for Helsinger as well. Don't know why I said it like that, sounded like a bit Welsh there. With, of course, another Siebens Vectron locomotive at the rear, the staple of loco locomotive push pull operation in Europe. Our spotting right now is the also 1344 Ersons Talk service bound for Christianstad and then where was it going? Karlskrona. So the wheel must be going to Karlskrona. Yep. So this one is although it's difficult to see, made up of two free carriage sets. The front is terminating at Christianstad and the rear is going all the way to Karlskrona. We've got this full carriage service which is terminating in as its destination is set to Copenhagen. So I assume that will sit in the platform and then depart on a later service. As off goes our intercity trains that I like. Experiencing some significant wheel slip as it departs. Wow, that's really quite bad. Just a single set on that one, the other one we saw had a double on. And it's quieting down a bit here, but it's about to get very, very busy. <laughs> the classic sound of a Vectron departing. On the 1348 DSB service bound for Helsinger. I'm not too sure what this Aerosol's talking about. Oh, this is the Estabot service. This, is, this one will have come from Sweden. Yeah. As off goes the Erasons Talk service bound for Österport. Regulator to Q, Q plus board 3, the max board in playing. Regulator to Q, Tadden or the third, Q plus. Let's go another service arriving on platform 5. Which is bound for Fredericia. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. This is the first the announcement saying that the platform alteration that the system has said that's just changed the destinations on the screen is incorrect and so the services are arriving on the opposite platforms that they should do. So it's going to confuse a lot of passengers, I think. I nearly missed that one. Spotting out, is this service? I'm not entirely sure what it's going to because all the destinations got confused. That must be the 1348 service bound for Kyrgyz, which is now late. 
do I see some Deutsche Bahn stock behind this? I think I do see some Deutsche Bahn stock. Should we go and have a look? This is indeed a Deutsche Bahn service, which means it must have come from Hamburg in Germany, as this is a bi hourly service. Lots of passengers coming off this train with backpacks. After we go have a look at all the stuff that's arrived on this side of the station, let's have a look at some of the S Talk services. I want to know what locomotives are onto these trains. I wonder whether they change locomotives out the border. Anyway, <laughs> just before we embark on that, the 1353 service bound for Fredericia is now ready to depart. Well, I like the VFs on this one. This is quite an important service, this one, because it links Copenhagen with Denmark's, is it second or third biggest city, Odense? As we have another Orison talk service arriving in, in the background on one of the far platforms. The good thing about the Orison talk service is you can see exactly where they're going from destination displays on the side. This one is bound for Osterport. As of basically all Ersons talk services. This could be from Vexia, this could be from Jutteboy, this could be from Karlskrona. Be from anywhere. You know what we're we doing? We're gonna see the locomotive at the front of this Deutsche Bahn service, won't we? I also noticed that some of these units have DSB written on the sides, as in um, the um, Danish state railways, but some of these have got Skorna written on. So I assume maintenance and stabling for these units is carried out by both um, the local operator of the Skorna region in Sweden, Skorna Flachiken, and also um, DSB here in Denmark. So that's quite interesting. Yep, as I thought, this has got a DSB locomotive on the front, um, again from the Danish state railways. So this locomotive would have switched over from a German one at Flensburg, just on the border. Again, one of the lovely Siemens Vectron locomotives. These look very new, these must be brand new. Oh look! This service which came in from Hamburg is being driven from the rear cab. There is no locomotive at the front of this one, as you can see its headlights are on. This is being driven from the rear cab, the driver's got a walkie-talkie and is communicating to someone at the end of the platform to try and marshal the train out on the platforms. I've never seen this happen before, because this never happens in the UK. If I saw this in the UK, I'd be slightly worried. I think this is just going to sit in one of the sidings outside the station before it departs on the 1514, so it's got quite a long way here. 1514 service back to Hamburg. I assume the locomotive will run round as well, so that it's at the right end. Just to vacate this platform here for some of the other services around the station. Anyway, we're going to go over to the S Talk platforms now. Um, if you'd like to see that, Please do join us for part two, which I will link in the description below. If I haven't linked it in the description, please scream at me in the comments. So if you've enjoyed your time here at Copenhagen Hofben Gord, then do um, do leave a like but down below. Uh, it does help the channel. And do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content for some reason. Um, I look forward to welcoming you back to the channel soon. So it's going to be goodbye from me. And farewell from... Kevin Arvinson's health in court.